Hello Spartans, welcome to the new show. I'm Clay, this is Luke, this is Callie. She's representing us from the Student Council. The Student Council has valograms to announce. We are selling them during lunch and um, you can buy them and we will deliver them to your special someone on the 14th. And we also have the talent show. Um, you can come and sign up, they can be just you or duos or groups, and um, tryouts will be on the 14th and 15th of February, and sign-ups are in the office. Um, softball, high school softball tryouts are the 25th and 26th for all girls that want to try out for softball. Soccer, there's pre-tryouts for any boys that want to play soccer, there's pre-tryouts. Check out the website for more on that. Pop tabs competition against the teachers and the students. Uh, there's five men extra lunch for anyone who wins. Don't lose. Guys, realize this great bulletin board in the comments tells you with a great message before you ever post, text, or snap anything. You think it is true, helpful, inspiring, necessary, and kind. Don't forget to go see Mrs. Cook in the finance office to get your yearbook. You're gonna want that. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Hey, take out your phone. Go on, you won't get in trouble. You too, teachers, take out your phone. You got it out? Good, now open your photos. Swipe through them, go on. You've got some amazing photos on there. And the yearbook staff wants them. Got pics of the game? We want them. Got a photo of your crush? Stalker. We want them. Do your parents have pictures on their phone? We want them. Got photos of you and your friends? We, we want, want it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Spartans. Send us the best pics you've got and we'll put them in this year's yearbook. Just go to hjeshare.com. Enter this code. <laughs> and make the yearbook your book. I know I'd go back to you. said Hurricane Katrina, more like Hurricane Tort. Guys, I need your help. It's a girl. Ah. <clears throat> I think I can help you with that. How did you get there and whose chair is that? Never mind that, Brayden. I think I can help you with your girl problem. Oh, please, you're the last person I'd ask. I'm here for Jacob. Brayden. Simple, simple, naive Brayden. Here, look at this. Do you know who these people are? My parents? Yeah. Exactly. And I was responsible for bringing your parents together. Wow! Exactly. But enough about me. So, Brayden, tell me about you. Well, rather, the, the girl you like. You know, what are her hobbies? What are her interests? Does she have anything on her criminal record? Because that's usually a deal breaker. Usually. No, she's just a nice girl who knows how to play the violin, I guess. Do you know how to play any musical instruments? I can whistle, kind of. <laughs> Look, how about you just lead the way? There she is. I'm going in. Whoa, whoa, there, sir. First, we need to put one thing into consideration. What is your relationship with this girl currently? Is she your friend? Uh, no. Acquaintance? Um, no. Have you talked to her before? Not exactly. Has, have you made eye contact? Well, she, yeah, but she was looking at a lunch sign. So I, I, you have a lot of work cut out for you. Um, okay, we're gonna start off plain and simple. Just go and uh, compliment her. I, I, I can do that. All right, cool. I, I like your face. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. That was pretty awful. Um, here, here. You know what? Try, try this. No, no. He did not touch my face. He grabbed. I gotta go. Hey, are you from tennis? Tennis. I, I smudged it. You smudged it. It's fine, just keep going. 
Hey, are you from Tennessee? Cause you're about it to. I'm going to be honest with you. That was pretty not awful. A word. Not a word. Look, I should have started this in the first, like this in the first place. But how would you just go and talk to her? Talk to her? Yeah, talk to her. I mean, granted, I, I should have started you like that from the beginning. I think it's more meaningful if you talk to the person. You don't have to shower them with compliments or make any pickup lines. It's more meaningful if you just talk to the person, make pleasant conversation. That's what I'd do if I were you. I think you're stupid. So then I said, Hurricane Katrina, more like Hurricane Tortilla. Guys! Michael, I took your advice, reluctantly of course. I spent all night writing a bunch of flashcards of conversation notes and such. Look, How? look, look. Wow, that's, that's really amazing. Good for you, man. Except, that's not how we're doing this. Look, you, you're gonna talk to the girl, right? Just make it meaningful. You don't need to plan ahead for it. Okay? Let's go. <laughs> hey. Crazy, crazy weather we've been having. I'm, I'm really hot. I mean, I'm not hot. I, you're hot. I mean, you're, you're not hot. I mean, you are hot, but like not in a weird way. You're like, uh, let's start over. Hi, I'm Bay Max. Wow, you, you sneaked at that too. Okay, I don't usually suggest this, but you're a failure, so it's the best we got. I'm gonna just go buy some Valgrams, okay? So then I said, Hurricane Katrina, more like her- Guys! Life. I can never finish my joke! So, did you buy the Valgrams? Yeah. Great. Did they work? Uh, I, I don't know yet, but hopefully because that would have been a lot of wasted money. How much money did you waste? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Fifty dollars! How much money did you buy? Fifty. Okay then, um, well, excellent taking. Uh, good job. Hey, look who it is. Hi. Hi. I got your 50 or so valgrams. Yeah, it was sweet. Hi. Hi, How's it going? Wait. Like that boy in the video, I too was lonely until I bought Valgrams. Valgrams are on sale this week and next week. Uh, candy bars are a dollar and suckers and airheads are 25 cents. Uh, they're on sale in the comments and lunches. Alright, so we're doing an interview here with the 7th grade student of the month, Gavin Johnson. We just wanted to ask him a few questions, see who he is, like, why he's God's good one. So, who's your favorite teacher out of all your teachers? Miss Jackson and Miss Tony. That's fun. That's awesome. So, as your favorite teachers, what's your favorite part about them? Um, well, they help me out. Um, they're just great teachers, and um, they help me work towards, like, getting a better grade and like, working out. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Mr. Wheeler, he's helped me a lot with my game as well. Um, what's your favorite subject here? Like, like oh, wow. facts. And, yeah. Sweet. Like, what's your favorite part about facts? Like, just well, like I have a bunch of good friends that are by me, and then um, like it's just nice. It's always nice to have good friends in class. What do you think you earned the title of student of the month? Well, I worked up from math to math honors, um, from like working and um, like just knowing the resources. Yeah. Sweet. I've only known a few kids who have gone up from math to math honors. That's always pretty hard to do. Well, this is our seventh grade student of the month, Gavin Johnson. Okay, today we're here with the ninth grade student of the month, and Stephen Strong, and we're going to ask him a few questions. So, who's your favorite teacher? In uh, my favorite teacher is probably Senor Brandon because he's a super nice teacher and he's always funny and his classroom is super fun. Nice. So, 
What's your favorite extracurricular activity? My favorite extracurricular activity is probably basketball because I'm on the basketball team. <laughs> nice. And who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl this year? Um, I'm hoping that the Patriots win because I love all the teams in Boston, so let's go Pats. Nice. Well, this is the ninth grade student of the month, Stephen Stone. We are here with Ruthie Devonport for the eighth grade student of the month award. Okay, I know you're playing Willy Wonka in the school play. Why do you like that part? Because Willy Wonka is a very unique person. I'll put it like that. And I don't know, he's just fun. Okay. So you got student a month. Why do you think you got that? Because I do my work in class. I don't know. So you think it's because you stayed on task? Yeah. Why not? It's good. It's good. And what is your favorite subject? Probably art. Why do you like art? Because I don't get much homework. Okay, that's good. And that was Ruthie Dav Davenport. <laughs> we are here with Senior Van and we're going to ask him a few questions about the Super Bowl. Who did you want to win? Um, Man, in the end of the day, I just went for the Patriots because Kyle Van Noy's there. He's one of my BYU guys. So. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite team for the NFL? I like the Chicago Bears. We liked them when we were little because they had Jim McMahon on their team, and um, he was a BYU guy, so we kind of always stuck with the Bears. So is he your favorite player also? Jim McMahon? Oh, uh, he's got to be up there. Probably, I don't know, Steve Young is probably my favorite player. Um, who did you want to get into the Super Bowl? Oh, man, I wanted to see either the Bears, the Chiefs, or the Saints in the Super Bowl. Those would all be fun for me. I think they're all fun teams to watch. We've got some good players. We are here with Senior Brandon. Okay, today we're here with Ethan Robbins. We're going to ask him a few questions about the Super Bowl. So, are you happy with the results? No, it was really bad. I hated it so much. And why is that? Well, first, uh, I really don't like Tom Brady, and it, it was just a very boring game. It was 3-3 three to three the whole game except for the fourth quarter, and then they won at the Patriots, and that was awful. And what do you have against Tom Brady? I just don't like him. Won too much. He's too good. Okay. And this is Ethan Robbins. We're here today with Brandon Bailey and Kyle Lawton. We're here to ask them some of the questions from the other question. Okay, who do you think has the best hair? Oh, Connor Guest. Uh, Jane Schwartz, all the way. Who do you think is the friendliest? Uh, Jake Clark. Parker Wilson. Why do you think they're the friendliest? Uh, because Jake is on the Hope Squad and he's pretty dope. Parker's just nice in general. Who do you think is the trendiest? Uh, Kobe Carter or Jackson Hayes? Uh, Christian Schubert. Okay, and we are here with Brennan Bailey and Kyle 